Good morning, this is Dennis Fuchs with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District update. Today I'd like to touch base with our listeners on an upcoming water testing clinic. And this is the last one that we'll be offering, but I'm going to also share some information uh, with you later that uh, you'll be happy to hear that if you can't make it to this uh, water testing clinic. We also have an opportunity to pick up the test kits right here at the USDA Service Center in Wade Park, Minnesota. So, uh, for $10 uh, on Tuesday, July 31st, from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Melrose City Center, you can pick up a sample kit to test your water for coliform bacteria, nitrate, and arsenic. Uh, $10, the $10 deal will be offered to the first 150 households to participate in the clinic. And this is the last one. We did have two prior uh, clinics at uh, Belgrade and St. Joe, but they're over now. So the last one is at uh, the Melrose City Center. And you can pick up the kit for $10 once again on Tuesday, July 31st from 4 to 7 p.m. And we're going to be testing for uh, arsenic. Uh, and you're probably wondering, uh, you know, what's wrong uh, if I have a little arsenic? Well, arsenic does occur naturally in rocks and soil across Minnesota, and it can dissolve into groundwater. Drinking water that contains arsenic can increase your risk of cancer and other serious health effects. Unfortunately, there's no way to know the arsenic level in your water before a well is drilled. Arsenic levels can vary between wells, even within a small area. You cannot taste, see, or smell arsenic in your water. And uh, that's part of the reason why we really encourage folks to have their water tested for arsenic. And uh, it's very important to uh, have that uh, monitored. And if uh, you do have high levels of arsenic in your drinking water, there are water treatment uh, uh, practices that you can use or uh, equipment to help remove that, including reverse osmosis, oxidation, filtration, anion exchange, uh, distillation, and uh, absorptive media, such as a charcoal type filter. Also, uh, the, you're going to be testing not only for arsenic, but they're going to be testing for nitrate. Nitrate is a compound that occurs naturally and has many human-made sources. Nitrate is in some lakes, rivers, and groundwater. When nitrate is found in Minnesota groundwater, it is usually at a very low concentration. However, some groundwater has high nitrate concentrations that present a health risk, especially for babies. You cannot taste, see, or smell nitrate in your water. Consuming too much nitrate can affect how blood carries oxygen and cause uh, a syndrome, a blue baby syndrome. Uh, this is where uh, suffocation, actually the, the, the baby turns blue. And uh, testing your private well for nitrates is very important. And uh, this can fluctuate over time depending on uh, how well your septic is maintained and or uh, feedlot uh, manure uh, uh, area, uh, contamination in the area, or even excess of applications of nitrogen fertilizers can cause nitrate elevations to increase in your drinking water supply. So that'll be a, another test that'll be conducted uh, as part of the $10. And the last one I wanted to mention is the uh, bacteria and uh, waterborne infectious diseases uh, are caused by a number of different bacteria. And uh, this bacteria test will help uh, with some of the most common uh, bacteria that can cause problems and they will test for that also. So that'll be on Tuesday, July 31st, from 4 to 7 p.m. And uh, have that tested. Uh, pick up your well test kit there. And if you just, for some reason, cannot make it to Melrose uh, City Center on Tuesday, we uh, do offer the kits uh, here at our office for $10. And uh, we will uh, make those available until they are gone. We have approximately 150 test kits available total, and uh, we've used up quite a few already at these testing clinics, but still do have some remaining uh, in our office. So if you uh, have not been able to attend the prior uh, and the upcoming uh, one at Melrose, uh, swing by our office and we'll 
we'll get one of those test kits to you so you can test for the bacteria nitrate and arsenic all right and i just want to let you know that our uh, 2018 outstanding conservationist is the boat family farms uh, out in the western part of the county and uh, we're very excited to have them as our outstanding conservationist uh, it's also where the breakfast on the farm occurred uh, this year and uh, we'll be uh, sharing additional information uh, uh, about them and some of the great things they got going on there in the future. And then also I want to remind everybody, uh, uh, this weekend is the Stearns County Fair. Maybe you've been out there already. It's already uh, uh, started uh, Thursday, Friday, and today being Saturday, um, maybe I'll see you around the, the neighborhood and uh, out and about. We do have our display there, and uh, check it out. And if you need to get a hold of us at, at our office, grab some of the brochures there. Our contact information is available. Or if you'd like to call our office uh, directly, uh, telephone number is 320-251-7800, extension 3. Also, uh, uh, the Stearns County Baseball uh, uh, Region Playoff Start, uh, that'll be held at Farming, uh, Minnesota. Get out there and cheer your favorite team on. And uh, like me, it's the Lake Henry Lakers. I actually got to watch them last week uh, uh, against farming. What a, a great game that was. Uh, Lake Henry uh, barely pulled it out in the extra innings. And uh, that farming team are a bunch of scrappers, uh, and uh, they uh, played tough. So uh, get out there and uh, cheer your uh, favorite team on, and uh, maybe I'll see you at the regions uh, also. This has been Dennis Fuchs with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District Update.